Oh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Chang Soo Shin from uh, Zhongang University, Korea. And my courses, uh, one student from Vietnam and one other student from Korea. We are international students. <laughs> and actually, uh, today I just want to explain our effort to define the digital twin models for the maintenance of cable spotted bridges. Because uh, in Korea, we constructed this uh, kind of cable spotted bridges for more than 30 years. And we typically uh, install every cable supported bridges with a health monitoring system. But uh, uh, from last year, the government and the agencies started to renovate those systems. Because uh, for 30 years, the bridge is very good condition. But now we have some concerns about some events like a corrosion of cables and some uh, uh, fracture of tendons. So uh, they need uh, more uh, data for the assessment of these uh, very important infrastructures. So I just want to introduce uh, some research efforts. Actually, uh, this kind of research results uh, just from the four different research programs. Two are from a government funded project and two are from the government agencies project. So, and then the, I will uh, explain the, how we digitalize our bridge structures into cyberspace. You know, the cable supported bridges, uh, we don't have any digital models. But if you want to uh, digitalize one cable state bridges, it takes time and money. So uh, we need to find a way to have more effective way to create and also the bridge information models. And also the model, should have some link to the database. We have files, we have images, we have reports, and also the uh, currently the maintenance work includes uh, some uh, NDE technologies and also the uh, scanning. So we have to link all the data to the digital models. So digital model has a role of uh, information platform. So that is the second. Uh, contents and third one is uh, digital twin model for maintenance. It's a uh, uh, it's kind of a task of a, a step for the maintenance office. And then the uh, I want to talk about the uh, interface with current monitoring system. We developed one system and implement in the one uh, cable supported bridges. Uh, current situation is we just link the database and visualize the response. That's all. So we like to uh, improve that. So uh, as you know, the bridge is a line structure. So it means if you want to have uh, exact geometry, we have to know the alignment and the coordinate and dimensions. So from the 2D model, 2D drawings, if you want to create uh, 3D models, it's not easy to have exact geometry and location. It changed according to time. So uh, we have some algorithm to create these 3D models from the uh, coordinate and also the, some documents from the drawings. So uh, we're trying to have some way to have uh, smart modeling technologies to save time and money to create these uh, 3D digital models. For example, this is a uh, uh, this will be world's longest cable supported bridges using uh, 80 megapascal concrete. And it has around uh, 244 segments. So uh, if we use this uh, algorithm, we can generate those uh, more than 200 segments using one master model if you have this coordinate. So it takes uh, only 10 minutes. So it's a huge uh, amount of money, uh, amount of time you can save. So in more detail, uh, we, ha we have a uh, uh, different inventory of these cable supported bridges like uh, stiffening girder and the pylons and cables. So we develop different algorithms for uh, creating the uh, 3D digital models. And these different elements has coordinate. So we combine different elements using coordinate. 
And so we uh, uh, established whole bridges. Once you have these whole bridges, you can use it for some meetings. This is whole range image on the table. So you can separate uh, different models and to discuss. And even you can uh, measure the uh, different dimensions. Because the drawing is not always accurate. It's slightly different from the real uh, dimensions. Originally, uh, this was started by the uh, Korean government agencies. They are uh, maintaining more than uh, 15 cable supported bridges, their main task. As you know, the, uh, there are two tasks. One is uh, office work, and the, the other is site inspection work. I, I ask them uh, how much time they spend. They say the 50-50. 50-50. So office work uh, need uh, to collect data, uh, previous maintenance work and inspection results. All those uh, uh, results are just a report. So it's really difficult to reuse it. So we have some strategy, BIM-based maintenance information system. One is one platform multi-use. So different engineers, different tasks should use uh, one platform. And on-site solution we needed. Because on-site, site inspector just a record, but he doesn't do the office work. Someone else draw. So there is some miscommunication. So uh, we have to solve that. And the other one is uh, this one master model need to be maintained for more than 100 years because cable supported bridges will be maintained for 100 years. So we uh, consider the, uh, the, the sustainability of this digital model. That's very important because digital model is based on the commercial solutions. They change the versions. But the, uh, the owner of this bridge wants to have the standalone solution. So that's the difference. So we developed the uh, inspection system for inspectors. So they uh, bring 3D models, including in the, in the laptop or in mobiles. And this inspection system linked to the main program. This is kind of a, a platform to uh, accumulate every records of these bridges uh, linked to the 3D models. So this is one of the screens. Uh, as you see, the, we have the whole bridges. And if you select one uh, segment, you can have a look at the previous damages. And also, you can generate some damage records into 2D drawings. And also, the, as I told you, the, this bridge has a huge amount of sensors already installed. But I, I found that the, the Data uh, just collected every 10 minutes. So they just store the huge amount of data in the database. But the, those data are not used effectively, just collected. They just say there is no event, no problem, that's all. So uh, we just link this uh, response in real time to the 3D models. That's the current situation. So. Uh, we developed some strategy to develop the uh, digital twin models uh, cable supported bridge. First one is we have to categorize inventory system, considering the maintenance practices. We divide it into different elements for the inspection and assessment. And the model authoring, we have to find out effective way. And another one is uh, we have uh, we should have a code system because the Currently, the bridge is independently managed by the one office, but they want to link together. So network-based data collection need a code system. And information requirements and delivery method we have to set up, and the interoperability between the FE analysis and monitoring system is essential. But this is uh, current ongoing research work. And capturing the uh, deterioration history of bridges is, is very important. So it's, uh, we are doing this part also. And when we have this data, then the, we can do the future performance prediction. So this is a, a process. And actually, we do this which, uh, maintenance work using the attribute archive and ONM information using these systems. 
of course, we have to uh, use mobile. So this is first step, inventory system for the bridges. And second system is authoring of each element, considering the uh, maintenance work. And third one is uh, we have to authorize the models for different purposes for different users. So this is a uh, smart modeling. And this is one case for suspension bridge we did. And court system is very important. We need the agreement between different uh, 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 tasks. So we have some uh, uh, definition of bridges and members and damages. And of course, in damage recording, type, location, quantity, and time is very important. We have to collect it. So once you have agreement for different bridges, you can collect certain data. For example, corrosion time and the crack time of fatigue. So you can collect it and uh, find a way to better uh, maintenance. And also, the, we have to set up the information delivery plans. So uh, as, as I told you, the, there is one uh, challenging task now. That is uh, interoperability between the uh, 3D model with the uh, uh, analysis model. This is uh, ongoing research works by uh, collaboration with a uh, company, uh, which is Bentley. We are trying to combine the RM model, RM analysis with uh, 3D models. Another instant base is uh, damage recording. So in Korea, we have uh, ND method for the damage detection of uh, road surface and also the uh, scanning by drones. So we define the IFSCHI surface to map those images to the 3D models. So this digital model can collect these images. And these images uh, have some quantity of damages. And if you have some quantity of damages, we can change it into the mechanical model. So the, we have to update analysis model. And one issue is, uh, as I told you, corrosion. So when you find out corrosion of tendons, then the, we have to find out, find out the mechanical model of this corrosion strength. So we have to update the analysis model. Then they find out the uh, remained capacity and remained life. And also, the, if you have these results, you are trying to use uh, uh, AR devices because the inspector is normally one or two years experienced engineers or technicians. They don't know. Most experienced engineers just uh, stay in the office. So the, we have concurrent engineering by uh, using the uh, AR devices. Currently, uh, we cannot do this kind of application for the cable supported bridges. So we are doing the, this process for the uh, normal uh, girder bridges, precious concrete girder bridges. So we define each surface for different uh, uh, images and the ND data and damage detection and time functions and we change the parameters for the analysis and we uh, share the information by the engineers. So uh, by summarizing the current status, uh, we define the digital models to accommodate every information and also we're trying to include the uh, scanned images and ND data to the 3D models and then uh, uh, we're trying to uh, share those uh, records with different engineers and different locations, especially the uh, main uh, maintenance office. And then the, this is current ongoing work. We have to define how to mechanically the, the, uh, define the, the, the damages. And then the, we update the analysis model. That is the current uh, research works. And Actually, I will show two uh, movies. So during that uh, movie showing, uh, you can ask me. This is the AL uh, application. We scan the model. We scan the bridges. And the, in the office, they pop up using HoloLens. And then the uh, engineers in the office can look at it. Overlap. Map the 
model to 3D model because there, there are some parts which cannot be scanned. So we replaced it. So if you find out this uh, uh, model in the office and then you can ask the specter to have a look at closely and to find out more uh, different things. And another one is, this is actually an uh, implemented uh, system in the cable supported bridge. And they are using this system now. And they are uh, they giving us some feedback to improve this system. So when you choose some inventory, then you can uh, call the uh, one 3D models, and this 3D model has every document and also the every uh, damage record in 3D. It's very understandable. So even the unexperienced inspector in the site, they can find out where they have to look at. So the previous uh, inspection results we can easily uh, uh, figure out. And also they, they have some history of every inspection Uh, it takes time. Oh, it's all? Show me the conclusion. <laughs> so actually, uh, by concluding, uh, Korean government uh, uh, realized we need a different approach. So they initiated new, new law uh, for the government uh, to spend budget for the uh, infrastructures. So what I want to talk is we have to realize how the life cycle digital information value for 100 years. For 100 years, so many different engineers deal with the same information with the different types. So uh, we're trying to uh, define the digital models combining with uh, different new technologies. There are so many different technologies. Even the AI, we need data. You know, the, I heard that the inspector take more than several hundred photos. Among those top photos, they just use a few photos in the report. And the others, they remove it. They threw it out. So we have to collect it. So uh, the smart maintenance needs a well-defined digital twin model, as well as created knowledge on bridge engineering. Thank you. <laughs>